Oh, oh my god. Uh, how many destroyed cars in today's video? Keep watching and find out. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome back to Beam and G Drive. In today's episode, we're going to be revisiting one of the beastliest truck mods ever made for Beam and G Drive because it's recently been updated with some uh, new variants and this is one of them right here and just look at this absolute monster and a half. So if you don't know, this is the Gavril B series. It's kind of like the D series, only... Uh, a little bit more insane as you can see this is a 10 wheel version it's the mining edition I believe uh, the last time I checked this mod out about a year ago we didn't have uh, a few of these variants here we didn't have the t the monster oversized ones here we didn't have the box truck version and I don't think we had the fire truck version either the b85 fire truck. Uh, but yeah, what I'm driving right now is, I believe, is this the mining version or is this just the uh, the oversized load one? Or maybe it's just, I don't know which one this is. It's a, They're all monsters and a half. So whatever we're driving here, we should be able to cause all sorts of havoc. So let's go ahead and do that. But before we do, a quick word from today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Apex Gaming PCs. If you've been in the market for a gaming PC to play Beam and G Drive or really any other game at the best FPS possible, boy, do I have a deal for you. Me and the folks over at Apex Gaming PCs have worked on three custom neological PCs, all custom made to play Beam and G Drive, which isn't easy because Beam and G Drive is notoriously hard to run. That's why they all have Ryzen CPUs to get the best out of your game. So if that interests you, click the link down below. And if you do get one, make sure to use code Neil at checkout for 5% off. Thanks again to Apex Gaming PCs, and let's get on with the video. Alrighty, so I have some traffic spawned up for some reason or another. They're not choosing to move or get out of the way, so we shall move them ourselves, and it should not be hard at all. Literally just flinging these cars left and right. Oh my goodness gracious, I forgot how gnarly this thing was, man. So yeah, if I can explain this mod in the simplest way possible, it is the ultimate off-road T-Series. At least that's the way I see it. Even a little bit, probably I would say this is a little bit crazier than a T-Series. Even if it wasn't like a crazy off-road version, but that's pretty much... Uh, what it is like you can basically run over fools in this thing if you really want to uh, uh Oh, okay. Maybe not hit a t-series head-on that might be pushing it a little bit But uh, yeah, this thing is definitely made for off-road look at that Just absolutely beautiful. I did bend one of the front tires there front left tires there Here, Let's hit another guy just for good measure <laughs> Oh my goodness uh, okay, let's hit him head on and see what happens. I still think we're probably gonna be okay here. Oh, oh my god! Uh, how many destroyed cars in today's video? Keep watching and find out. You know, it's not really that slow either. You would think something like this would be just this. This thing's straight out of like Snow Runner. You would think it'd be slow as heck, but no, we're up to 100 miles an hour easily. Just sending fools flying left and right. Okay, let's really wreck ourselves here. Oh, oh, oh the poor COVID. Oh, no. Oh, no, we flipped it. Yikes. But still, I mean, if we flip this over, we could probably still driving. We're only down one tire, so I don't see why uh, we wouldn't be able to keep going. But let's try. Uh, let's see if we can find something even gnarlier than that. Do we have, like, just something that could run over everything? Maybe this tank here. Massive power and massive weight. Its purpose is to destroy stuff by ramming into them. Yeah, that's that's literally all this is for, is destroying. And that's how we like them here on the Neological channel, so let's get straight to it. I'm going to take a left this time, because I don't want to go to the highway again. I want to I wanna, I wanna crush people out of these tidy roads so they have nowhere to go. Let's start with this K-Series. <laughs> Just absolutely destroys it, man. Uh-oh. I'm going a little quick for this corner. Hold on, hold on. How, how good is this thing at turning? We're going to find out. It looks like it would be kind of top-heavy. But no, it's not. The four tires turning at the same time actually kind of helped us here. I wish they all did that so we could uh, crab walk. Oh, my God. Did not phase us at all. 
hitting another car head on at 50 miles an hour. Here's a new car. The Bastion just shoving him out of the way like he's tinfoil. Crushing him like he's tinfoil as well. Ooh! There we go. There we go. I wish you could put a, uh, a ram plow on this. That would be amazing as well. I'm sure there's some mod that lets you do Oh, we're smoking. Okay! Oh! <laughs> Even the T-Series would just shove out of the way! What an absolute beast this thing is. What an absolute beast. We are uh, chugging some smoke here, but I'm not too worried about it. As of right now, there we go. We are just on a path of destruction. Beautiful. Let's check the end here. A lot of smoke coming into the cabin here. Here, let's get some slow motion for this one. Oh, God. <laughs> Imagine seeing this coming up. Not stopping in your rear view mirror. That would be terrifying. Oh, man. And here comes the Bastion as well. There we go. Just shove everybody out of the way. <laughs> Just get out of here. Oh, this guy's stuck. Spin him around. There we go. And let's see if we can survive a cliff jump, even if it's a little one. We did. What an absolute monster. We are hurting quite a bit after that, but it still drives perfectly after that, which is just absolutely insane. We'll see how it does in the water as well. I'm imagining it's not going to slow. It does not slow us down at all. Of course not. <laughs> if you even, how could you even uh, think that it would slow us down for two microseconds? It was like I was driving through regular air. Absolutely beautiful. There we go. This is a force of nature. Oh my goodness, all the damage and destruction. Let's just go over the top of everybody. Just shove them out of the way like they're nothing. The only thing that could truly crash us is if we run somebody over and it uh it kind of we kind of go over the top and it kind of flips us over. That's pretty much the only way that anybody could take us out. <laughs> that's that's the only way I'm seeing. That we could be taken out, which is uh, which is pretty crazy. Okay, so we're back to the highway. So let's try to find. Is there any versions of this thing that you could categorize as fast? Uh, I don't think so. But you know, maybe if any of these were going to be fast, you would think the fire truck. You would want to be kind of quick because you could you could get it from point A to point B uh, fast if there's a fire. So let's try this one out. Oh, that's weird. It didn't make it uh, red. How do you have a fire truck and not make it red? Okay, whatever. I, I, I don't know why the color changer isn't working. <laughs> Here we go, the fire truck. Supposedly, uh, it's very, very shiny. Look at those reflections. Aren't those beautiful? <laughs> uh, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. This thing does feel pretty fast. I mean, not fast in the sense of... Uh, I mean, it's not fast. I, I guess I should say that. But, it, you know, it's fast for this vehicle. Here, I'll say that. It's fast for this vehicle. It's driving the wrong side of the road. Why not? Oh, that could have been very bad. We are pushing 100 miles an hour here. 95, 96? What's it, this poor soul? Oh. Are we okay? <laughs> He's not okay. I think we're okay, though. We're still going 90 miles an hour. What's it, another? A Kovat. He's done for. <laughs> He's done for. Oh, no. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, very nearly flipped us over. And that Kovat is stuck. And on fire. Good thing we are a fire truck. We can help him out here. What is happening right now? Whoa, whoa, whoa. physics. Physics. Work with me here. That is... <laughs> that might be the worst smash car we've ever seen at BBG Drive. It's unrecognizable. Completely unrecognizable there. That is uh, unfortunate. And I think it... Kind of ruined our truck because some weird physics stuff was happening there. And uh, it was not good. So let's get some more speed here. I want to see if I can get this thing to 100 miles an hour. I should probably not be driving on the wrong side of the road. There's a lot of traffic today in uh, good old Utah. So we're just going to have to make do. <laughs> My goodness. Oh, we lost a tire. Is it going to affect us at all? I guess not. I don't feel as fast as I usually do, though. Yeah, we're only we're only going 40. Okay, maybe we should go on the other side as soon as we can. There's our, our path of destruction we left. 
So let's see if we can squeak by here. Excuse me, guys. Sorry about the mayhem. There we go. There we go. Squeak on by. And let's see how fast we can get this bad boy going. We do have the tunnel coming up, so we got to worry about that. But, uh, yeah, let's see how fast we can get this thing going. 92? Not bad. 90? Okay, there's traffic on this side now, of course. So we're going to have to tactically switch here. Didn't slow us down too much. We're at 100 miles an hour, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. We are in for a wild ride if we run into anybody. That is for sure. But I don't see anybody. I don't see anybody at the at this moment. Should we probably slow down? You think we can make this corner at 100 miles an hour? Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, 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 okay. No, we cannot. <laughs> we run into a T-Series because of course we do. Oh. Uh, and what a, what a grade A mess. You know, let's just add on to this as well by going to fun stuff. Exploding the truck. <laughs> and causing a massive fire. And, uh, break it. There we go. There we go. But the good news is we are a fire truck, so we are equipped to deal with this. Right? Maybe not. I don't really know. Anyway, we did this last time with this car, but we have some new variants now. So let's take this to the car jump arena and see how far it can fly. I'm guessing not. I don't remember what we did last time, but I'm guessing it wasn't that far. But that's fine. It'll still be fun. All righty. So here we are. Uh, let's try this box truck version. We didn't get to try this one. The B75TS cargo box configured for big, heavy loads equipped with two front axles, two back axles, and a cargo box uplift. That is a... Uh, an insane machine for sure. Alrighty. No NOS. Uh, not surprising. So, I, again, don't think this thing is going to be the quickest machine we've ever driven on the car jump arena. But you know what? It's awesome. And I want to see how it handles the jump. So we're going to do it. Anyway, 140 miles an hour. 143 over the edge of the jump. That's going to get us pretty darn far here. Past the 250, nearly to the 300. Let's out, see how it handles this landing in slow motion here. And it looks like it's going to handle it just fine and dandy. As long as we land on our tires. And we need to start slowing down really fast. <laughs> hey, we're okay. Again, I'm sure this thing still drives. If you fish it out of the pool... I think you're going to be A-OK. -okay. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of BMG Drive. I'll have this mod linked down below. Definitely, definitely worth checking out, especially if you wanted like an off-road T-Series-ish uh, kind of semi thing. This is as good as it gets. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit that like button down below and subscribe if you haven't already. And follow me over on Twitch. I'm streaming over on Twitch regularly, semi-regularly. Uh, I play BMG and a lot of other stuff as well. So go check it out. And, uh, yeah, that'll about do it. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. See ya.